Hello and welcome to Lobjit Gaming and welcome to another Steam Winter Sale video. So in this one we'll look at a really cheap game. So I'm going for games under $3 here. And there are quite some interesting games. I could have gone lower but I wanted to keep some quality so that's why I've kept it at under 3 So let's begin. First up we have Left 4 Dead 2. So again a very popular game, zombie co-op shooter, overwhelmingly positive. It's an older game now but it's still got an active player base. It's got like 26 to 30,000 people currently right now. Uh, uh, 199 dollars, uh, 143 pounds, and guessing about the same in Australia and uh, the Euro region. 69 rupees, 80 percent off. Now you could pick any Valve game, any of the Half Life games, Portal games, Left 4 Dead. All of these games are well under three dollars, and all of them are worth it in my opinion. You simply buy the complete Valve pack, which is 91 percent off. You could buy the Left 4 Dead bundle. You could buy the Portal bundle, the Half Life bundle. All those games are definitely worth it and they're not uh, very expensive either. Even as a bundle, they're quite cheap. Next up, we have Transistor. So this is another game made by Supergiant Games, the people behind Hades. And last time I mentioned Bastion, which is also comfortably under $3. And then they made this one. This was, I think, their second game. And this is like an action RPG style game. It's also very popular. Another game that is sort of a cult classic, you could say. 85% uh, off, 79 rupees only, 299 dollars, 232 pounds, and 251 euros, 419 in Australia, and 341 in Canada. Next is Doom 64, so the classic. This got released uh, alongside uh, Doom Eternal, and this is, of course, the old game made to work now with modern systems. So, if you are a fan of the old games, boomer shooter games, etc., then yeah, retro FPS. Can't get more retro than this. So 70% off, 124 rupees, 149 dollars, 119 pounds, and 149 euros, 226 Australian dollars, and 194 Canadian dollars. Next is Saints Row 4. So again, Saints Row 4 is a open world wacky sort of game, and any of the Saints Row games are well under this price. I just picked four because this is one of the latest. Saints Row 3 got a remaster, but I think that is only available on the Epic Game Store. So all the other Saints Row games are, I think, well under $3. So this one is 80% off, 95 rupees, 299 dollars, 219 pounds, 299 euros. Uh, I don't know why again Australia is not showing up. Um, but I'm guessing about four or something. Uh, 339 Canadian dollars. Next is Just Cause 2. So again, Square Enix games tends to be really cheap. So Deus Ex games, Tomb Raider games. Just Cause games, they're all uh, well under $3. I picked Just Cause 2 here because I mentioned Just Cause 3 in a previous video. Again, this one I think is the one that uh, made the series popular. Big open world uh, sandbox style game. A lot of things to blow up, destroy. You have your grappling hook to travel around. So this is 90% off, only 47 rupees, $149, uh, 99 pence, 149 euros, 179 uh, Australian dollars and 159 Canadian dollars and because this is an older game it should run very nicely even on laptops and stuff and it still looks decent in my opinion next is Beholder so this is an indie game that I really liked quite a lot I mentioned Beholder 2 another, in another video this is the original game so basically in this game you play as I forgot the name of the guy but you are in a totalitarian state where the government controls each and everything of their citizens and you are a landlord, you are installed by the government, you live in the basement here and then you have to keep tabs on all the apartments above and spy on your tenants and you could, if they are doing something illegal, you can you know, blackmail them and ask for money or you could just report them and get them arrested. And you have some difficult choices to make because you have your own storyline going. You have to worry about your own family, wife and kids. And also the oppressive state. You have to figure out what to do with that. So there's an interesting story and it's quite bleak and difficult. But there are different outcomes and depending on your choices, you can get different results. This is 85% off, 55 rupees only. 149 dollars, 1 pound and 4 pence, 149 euros, 2 dollars and 9 and 164 Canadian dollars. Next is Adam Wolf. So a few days ago I mentioned this game was free on Indigala. I'm not sure if it's still free. You can check that video and claim it if you want. It was free on Indigala. 
This is on Steam and this is also on a massive sale. So I thought if you don't want it on Indiegogo and you want it on Steam, you can get it here. So this is um, so this is just the first episode. This is like an episodic thing, so four episodes. 85% off, 79 rupees only, 299 dollars, 224 pounds and 299 euros. 434 Australian dollars and 329 Canadian dollars. Next is the Turing test. So this is a puzzle game, basically, in first person. And yeah, very positive, it's published by Square Enix. This is 85% off, 84 rupees only. 299 dollars, 224 pounds, 299 euros, and 434 Australian dollars, 329 Canadian dollars. Now I'm not 100% sure, but I think this might have been given away on the Epic Games Store. I'm not 100% sure, but it just feels like it might have been. Next is Kingdom New Lands, and this was given away by the Epic Games Store, by the way. So I've mentioned this, I think, in another video, but this is one of the nicest strategy games, uh, pixel art. You play this game in sort of left to right, it's in 2D. So you manage your own kingdom, and there's a lot of things to do here. And this is 85% off, 71 rupees only, 224 dollars, 164 pounds, and 224 euros. 322 Australian dollars and 254 Canadian dollars. Next is Rise Son of Rome. So this was the one of the launch titles with the Xbox One and this game did not do well at the time because this was a $60 game. But now it's very cheap under $3 and it's actually not bad. Now one thing I would say is you need to increase the difficulty to play this game. Like if you play it on the default setting or easy setting this will feel very boring because the Combat is sort of a quick time event type deal and on the easy setting it's just a joke. But if you turn up the difficulty then it involves a little more timing on your part and then it can be a little more challenging. So basically I think there are like several difficulties and the hardest difficulty is locked. So once you finish the campaign then you can unlock the hardest. So choose the one that is available, the hardest that is available and you can play it. It's got a decent story, sort of like gladiator style story. Set in Rome. The graphics are surprisingly good, even today, still looks really good. And this is 70% off, 104 rupees, 299 dollars, 239 pounds, and 299 euros, 435 Australian dollars, and 344 Canadian dollars. Next is Prince of Persia Warrior Within. Now, again, all the old Prince of Persia games are on sale, all of them are under three dollars. I just picked this for just you know mentioning. So, yeah, 80% off, 99. Rupees only, one ninety nine dollars, one seventy one pounds, and one ninety nine euros. Two ninety nine Australian dollars and one ninety nine Canadian dollars. Then we have Jotun Valhalla edition, and again, I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think this might have been given away by the Epic Games Store. So it's an indie game, action, with beautiful art style, and this is eighty percent off again. Ninety one rupees only, two ninety nine dollars, two twenty seven pounds, and two ninety nine euros. 430 Australian dollars and 349 Canadian dollars. And then we have Dear Esther Landmark Edition. So this is one of the early walking simulator type games and this is kind of the game that sort of got this whole genre going, like one of the early ones. And this is the, of course, uh, remastered improved version. 80% off, 73 rupees only, 199 dollars, 159 pounds, 199 euros. 290 Australian dollars and 219 Canadian dollars. So yeah, that's another quick look at some games under three dollars. I'll see if I can uh, come up with some more ideas for the winter sale, but I'm guessing most of you have already bought the games, so I'm not sure if more is needed. But I'll obviously keep making my usual videos and stuff. So yeah, thank you for watching as always, and see you in the next one.